Pentagon says he has lowering Yemen missiles that may have turned to Israel extend this subtitle. Kevin Deitch Kevin Deitch The Pentagon said that he had dropped missiles from Yemen and set out for Israel potentially. Rapport arrived only one day after U.S. troops were attacked in Iraq, Syria, and he was afraid of the regional expansion of conflict between Israel and Hamas. According to Air Force Brig. USS Kearney, currently deployed in the Northern Red Sea, successfully intervened with three driving missiles and a few drones initiated by Houthi forces in Yemen. Speaking journalists on Thursday, Ryder said that Pentagon is still working to determine the aim of weapons. But they went north journalists and potentially towards the targets in Israel. He believes that he has medium-range ballistic missiles. Carney is equipped with various missile defense systems, but did not say which system was used to destroy the Pentagon missiles. Since country was attacked by Palestinian militant group on October 7, U.S. Army may represent first shots of Israeli defense, while regional tensions continue to increase. A high alert for the activity of Iranian deputy groups such as U.S. Houthis. Several armed groups compatible with Iran promised to target U.S. military bases in Middle East if expected Israel intervened in invasion of Gaza. Carney's defense actions arrived only one day after three separate drone attacks targeting U.S. air bases in Iraq and Syria. Ryder told press on Thursday that two of the attacks caused coalition forces minor injuries. The three at the Al-Assad Air Base in western Iraq, had a cardiac part of an American contractor and Ryder described events as an increase in the drone activity against the United States. But it is not clear whether Pentagon is still working to determine whether events are connected to Iran-backed groups. Our aim is to avoid the regional expansion of Israel's conflict with Hamas. He continued but are ready to defend our partner's interests. And we are ready will take action to do so. Authorized. Pentagon's Israeli-Hamas conflict in a way to include additional Iranian allies to believe that the U.S. bases did not receive a series of attacks. He added, Iran has long been supporting Hamas in form of training and ammunition. But the U.S. said that there was no clear evidence that Iran has directly participated in the 7th of October. Israeli attack. President Biden has repeatedly warned Iran and regional allies not to increase tensions. Including. By deploying several warships, aircraft carriers and maritime to region. He strengthened U.S. stance in region but also made it clear that U.S. did not think that it would be directly involved in military service. Tom Bowman from NPR contributed to reporting.